Here we are back with the Sausage Pride once again. And of course, with the Sausage Pride, they're little sausages. I still haven't got to know this pride at all, so it will take a little bit of time before we get to know them in the way that we know the Inkahumas or the Styx Pride, for example. But they've been hanging out around this buffalo kill for the last two days. And I think at some point we'll be able to get a little bit closer. I'll just have to figure my way around. When you don't know the road networks, it gets a bit confusing. But I'm pretty sure we can get closer to them there and have a slightly better view. But how's that? Lions lounging in the shade with the most spectacular view imaginable. It's amazing how those fake cell phone trees stick out at the top of the ridge there. You can see so clearly. <laughs> But we'll go back to the lions. Well, they've gorged themselves on the buffalo. There's not that much left of it. And it's time to sit and rest with very full bellies. It'd be fun to get a bit closer now, once the, the cubs have had their breakfast, to get a little bit closer so that we can watch them as they start to play. It's still nice and cool here. In this part of the world, it doesn't heat up it doesn't get as cold as it gets in Juma in the middle of the winter, but it also doesn't heat up as quickly as it does. So it's only going to get quite hot around about nine or so, I would say, especially with the breeze that's blowing. Which for lions is great news because it means they're going to be more active. Very, very noticeable notches on their ears. John, I have absolutely no idea why they are called the Sausage Pride. Morning, everybody. Um, I would suggest that it's because there's a bit of confusion as to whether it's the Sausage Tree Pride or the Sausage Pride. There's different names given to them at different times. I thought that antenna was going to hit you on the head, Dave. <laughs> One of the vehicles has quite a large antenna sticking out of it. I suppose we should know all about that. I would guess and say it's because they've been associated with a big Kigelia species, so a sausage tree species. Oh, look at this. This is going to be beautiful. We've got elephants approaching. Elephants very often chase things like lions. They don't particularly like predators. But we've seen while we've been around here that the elephants generally, when they've got a lot of space, they're generally quite tolerant of the predator species. So if I duck, does that help you, Dave? Yes, much better. You don't want to look at my head when there's elephants making their way towards the lions. Oh, we've stopped for a second. You can see the wind making them a little bit antsy. I suppose it doesn't affect them as much as it might in Juma, where the, it's so much thicker. need to steal my monitor back. <laughs> Dave's showing us beautiful view of the sky. It's a lovely sky, Dave. Hello, Ellie's. And they're going to... They've changed their angle slightly, so now they're actually walking towards us rather than the lions. And the elephants are just as relaxed here. See the big female on the left? Long, long tusks. You're looking a little wide, girl. Have that slow, peaceful walk. There's a little one. You can see how long the grass is because a little one basically disappears. And the lion cubs are watching intently. They've got that natural curiosity of the young. There you go, look at that. A little one. So we've got the lions watching the elephants approach and Mary is saying what sweet elephants. We're very lucky to be able to spend as much time as we do with the creatures that we do. That baby's completely disappeared now. You wouldn't barely know that there was a baby elephant there. Oh, bottoms. Indecisive as to which way they're going to go. I think they probably, because the wind is blowing straight at them, they can probably smell the buffalo carcass. Now, Aragon Clay, you want to know whether or not the lions would ever hunt elephants. Lions can and do hunt elephants. 
and apparently they have been reported to hunt elephants in this area but very very seldom you need quite a large lion pride especially with males um, oh there's water there that's why they've stopped there especially with a male because they just add that extra level of strength but it's more common in places like Botswana for example where the lions go after elephants because it's a very dangerous thing for a lion to hunt an elephant I mean hunting in general is dangerous buffalo um, hippo they can all cause a, a lion serious serious injury but an elephant oh wait guys I want to drink too <laughs> tail out wait for me and it's usually the young bulls at the back that lions will hunt but they'll only really do it if they have to and out here there's no real necessity for them to hunt elephant particularly in the coming weeks when wildebeest basically jump down their throats essentially they don't even have to go looking for prey it just kind of is there that female's definitely pregnant look at the way she's bulging out asymmetrically as well <laughs> I can't wait to get a live elephant birth on camera that would be so special I don't think it's imminent just by the way but it would be very special here we go everybody's had a drink you can see slightly on alert obviously because they can smell the lions and they can hello now, Megan you would like to know how does she have such a young baby and still be pregnant that's a very good question actually uh, the baby might not actually be hers she might be the matriarch of the herd Mm, though I can't see another female that it could belong to. No, it is her baby. Good point. Maybe she's just got a seriously full tummy. Because if you look at that baby, it's a bit, little bit too long. There's two little babies, though. Hmm. The gap between births is usually about five or six years. So there's definitely females in this herd that have had babies that's not just her. Perhaps we're not seeing, oh, there we go, that's why. We're not seeing all of the herd. There's another female coming along behind. Alice, please don't forget to mute me. <laughs> Now, Zoe, no, the baby is not in danger of the lions at all. I don't think the lions are going to tackle this herd today. There's a couple of big females that have actually moved through in the back. There's a couple more still coming. So, no, they will not in any way be a threat. In fact, the, the cubs might even move out of the way. The lions might move out of the way, depending on where the elephants go. Let's just stick here for now because the elephants are getting closer. They've seen, they've smelt the lions at least. I don't think they've seen them. And the gap is closing. And usually the females tend to be slightly more disgruntled by the presence of predators. can see trunks up in the air they can smell them they can't see them elephant's sense of smell is very powerful but their eyesight is not fantastic so they know something is there they're just not quite sure where or what and you can see slightly unsettled body language from the youngsters of the group look at that what an awesome opportunity that was for a screenshot with all those trunks in the air sniffing 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 now everybody's frozen <laughs> look at that standoff that distance looks a lot less with my eye than it does with the camera <laughs> it really does they're probably now about 30 meters away it's amazing how that works it depends on your if the, if the elephant is behind them, it always looks closer. If they're next to them, they look further away, because that's about 30 meters. See the adults not too bothered at all. 
the big female is not upset. The, a couple of big females at the back that are probably the mothers of the calves, not concerned at all. It's the youngsters that are slightly on edge. Just sniffing. Okay, and there they go. The big female leading them safely away. Two of Africa's iconic animals in one shot. Well, since our elephants have moved away, I think it's time for us to get a bit closer to our lion pride. So while we figure out our way around, let's go back to Ali, who's still searching for her lions. <laughs> 